Okay, welcome to our next video. The next video is gonna be on project number five. Project number five, we have ourselves a uh, single pull, single throw in box one, a duplex receptacle in box number two that has 100% power, and that single pull, single throw in box one is actually gonna control a lamp holder in box number three. Now, a few things to point out when it comes to this project is that, again, like in project number four, we have a little jump wire that is hooked up to our power that's coming into box one. So the power supply that's coming in is actually gonna be not only leading power to our first appliance off of a little jumper, as much as I dislike doing uh, a little jump off of, uh, off of incoming power in order to get to an appliance, I much rather have a direct, uh, uh, a direct wire going in and it to be uh, supplied to that appliance. But in this case where students are actually gonna be wiring in a uh, cord cap in order to test out this little simulation, uh, we're just gonna keep it as a uh, three wire cable. So in this case, uh, we're kind of left with no choice but to have a little jump wire hooked up to that light switch. So in this case, we got a little jump wire going over to our first appliance, as well as a uh, our red wire off of our 12-3 that's hooked up to our outlet in order to get 100% power over to uh, the outlet itself. Now I know what you're probably wondering, a lot of students ask this question. And they often make that mistake of having that wire go directly to the switch and have the hot wire off of the switch run to the outlet hooked up to the first terminal and the second terminal running wire over to the lamp holder. So they're utilizing that outlet kind of as a wire nut in order to relay power from the light switch to the lamp holder common mistake however I would not advise a student actually using that outlet as a wire nut in order to get power from a light switch to a lamp holder the issue you're going to run into is that when you go to turn on uh, your light switch to turn on your lamp yes you will get power over to your uh, to your outlet yes you will get your light to turn on but once you turn off that light from your light switch. Once it's switched to off, so is your outlet. Your outlet would then be turned off. So you wanna have 100% power in this case. So we have a separate lead, a separate wire, a little jump that goes from the power in to the light switch, as well as having power go from the power in to the outlet, okay? So how do we get here? So we set aside this little uh, example project. How do we get there? Well, as normal, let's start with the power coming in the box one. And that first appliance being our single pull, single throw. We're first gonna tie in our little jump. There's our first terminal, now our second terminal. And again, you wanna color code. Uh, make it easier for yourself. Don't mix up your uh, colored wires. Uh, in this case, I have a black wire that's tied into our, uh, our single pole, single throw, that will have that same black wire relayed uh, to our lamp holder in box number three. So, now that we have box one wired in for our light switch, we're now gonna have our power that's gonna go to our lamp holder from the light switch and wire in our box number two. In this case, 
We have a bl uh, black wire that's wired into our light switch. We're gonna continue on with our black wire uh, in box number two. We're gonna hook up these two black wires by a wire nut. Okay. There's our wire nut and black wires in box number two. Now for this particular lamp holder, uh, we have our we have our hot, we have our neutral. We're gonna make our pigtail for our hot wire. Okay, there's our hot wire. Now we have our neutral. Make sure, be, make sure to have your uh, pigtails facing clockwise. I, I always repeat this in my videos of making sure that, that you have those pigtails. I can't emphasize it enough because it's a pretty common mistake, especially for uh, uh, people doing this for the first time. Primarily my students, uh, they make that mistake of having the uh, pigtails pointed in the wrong direction. Uh, the difficulty you run into there is that whenever you go to turn in, uh, you're screwing in your terminals, that pushes that pig, uh, pigtail out of the terminal. When you have it pointed clockwise, as you're turning that terminal and tightening it, it's actually locking in that, uh, that pigtail. So there we have our, uh, our lamp holders all wired in. Uh, in this case, I'll move on to my next appliance, which is going to be our duplex outlet in box number two. Since we have the black wire being utilized for our single pole, single throw, powering uh, or controlling our lamp holder, the red wire is gonna be designated for our outlet. So here we're gonna have our power coming into box number two. Box number one's already taken care of where we have our red wire hooked up to our power coming in and the jump to our single pole, single throw. In this case, we're only gonna be using uh, one single red wire. I know uh, I, I had this poking up, but we're not gonna use the two red wires, okay? Because we're only having power go to our outlet in box number two. It's not going elsewhere. Uh, no need to have the red wire hooked up to our lamp holder, otherwise the light would never turn off. So we're just gonna imagine, we're gonna bend that, it's gone. No red wires existing other than this one that's hooked up to our power going into our outlet. There's our power going in. Now we're gonna be having our uh, neutrals travel back. Now, you notice I went ahead and wired in the uh, lamp holder neutrals. So we have that white wire here in box three that's leading over to this white wire that goes back over to box number two. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this uh, outlet as the power going back to the uh, power source. So we kind of using it as a, uh, as a pig, uh, as a wire nut really, uh, that's gonna go back over to our power source in box number one. And it's perfectly legal. I could be able to do that and actually cleans up box number two. So there's one wire, the wire that's going uh, from box number three. Now the white wire that relays back over toward box, box one. Make sure to have them pointed clockwise.
have those pig, put, uh, pigtails pointing clockwise. Tighten down, and there are my neutrals. So at this point, last thing I need to take care of are my grounds. Let's start with box number one. So here's my ground for box number one to my single pole, single throw, AKA toggle switch. There's one ground. And remember, the grounds are also gonna have, like primarily for box number one, as code is as detailed, especially when it comes to our curricular uh, curricular coding uh, for what we're instructing in electrical for uh, our classes, everything from uh, all of our wires, our appliances, our ground to our boxes. So you notice I have uh, two brass wires that are, um, that are uh, two bare wires that are hooked up between the cable that's coming in and the cable between boxes one and two are all hooked up to this green wire that is going down and grounded directly to our boxes. Um, so everything from the uh, cable, boxes, appliances, they're all grounded. So you're gonna notice that. Same thing goes for box number two. So same thing for my appliance in box number two. I have my cable going in and the cable going out from box number two to box number three are all grounded directly to the green wire that is wired into box number two. And finally I have, uh, there's no ground hooked up to the, uh, there's no ground necessary for our uh, lamp holder. So the only ground that's needed is just the cable that's going in and ground directly over to the box. Uh, I can have it that way because like in any other household, if you're going to be making uh, any kind of updates or changes to the electrical, to a room, um, you could always have, um, you could always have that change and, and, uh, and easily any kind of appli uh, appliance that you're going to be changing. Yeah. You, you, this appliance that, I have currently in a room that's a lamp that could be a lamp holder that doesn't require ground. In the future, I could have uh, a different lamp uh, holder or even a fan that's going to require a ground. I could always uh, have that ground is easily installed uh, because I already have the ground that's there. All I would have to do is just take a little uh, uh, wire and hook it directly up to uh, the appliance that would require that ground. But Long story short, here I have box number five completed from a light, uh, a light switch in uh, box number one, duplex outlet in box number two, uh, and the uh, toggle switch in box number one controlling a lamp holder in box number three. So that concludes project number five. Uh, we'll be moving on to uh, project, number, uh, project number six.